earlier today I made a post on Facebook asking this. Wedding DJs, could you go all night at a reception without using the words bride or groom over the microphone? And there are like over 60 replies, and they vary. Most people said, well, no, I don't refer to my clients as bride and groom. I call them by their names because they have names, and it makes it more personal. Some people said, I really haven't thought about it, but maybe I do say the words bride and groom a lot. That might be like a habit-forming thing, like ladies and gentlemen, and at this time, perhaps I should think about just using their names. Maybe that would be better. Others said, you know, if I forget their names, or for some reason I can't remember the client's names, I'll call them the bride and groom. And I understand in a perfect world, we're not supposed to forget our client names. Personally, I have that timeline that I make, I put my client's names in big, bold print on the top of that timeline, and it's right there next to my microphone. I can glance down and look at it, but you know what? If I didn't have that, that might be a good save. One person, pal of mine, said... Well, of course, I call them the bride and groom. On their wedding day is the only day that they're going to hear anyone call them the bride and groom. So why not call them that? They also said, I don't call them that all night. I mix it up with their name, but I use it sometimes. And I guess none of those are wrong. It's all just a different opinion. Everyone has their own style. I totally understand that. My personal take is, I don't like to say bride and groom over the microphone. It just feels way too scripted for me and too generic. Way back in the early days when I started DJing, we used to have the same script for every wedding and we would say bride and groom. And then when I got into my 20s, I started doing a lot of weddings for people that I knew and went to school with. Why would I call Doug and Jen the bride and groom? I know they're Doug and Jen, I'm just going to say Doug and Jen. So I got into that habit and just did it for all of my clients and really never gave it a second thought. Until earlier this year, I was talking to another friend of mine right before I was getting ready to do my first gay wedding for David and Justin Jantz. He said, well, here's some advice for you. Be careful not to say bride and groom over the microphone because it's two guys. I do a lot of same-sex weddings and civil unions. That's one thing I always have to be mindful of. And I thought to myself, well, I'm not going to have that problem because I'm not in that habit. But it did get me thinking. So this summer, I tried it a few times, just saying bride and groom, just to see what the reaction would be. And it wasn't negative and it wasn't positive. It was very just neutral. But what I do get a reaction from is this. And somehow I want to work it into the microphone. Maybe some of you already do it. But if I walk up to, let's say Bob and Jennifer got married. If I walk up to Bob and say, hey, Bob, where's your wife? He looks at me like, oh, wow, that is my wife. No one's ever asked me that before. That is so weird. That's a cool reaction. Calling them the bride and groom is something that I feel like a lot of people have already done. The photographer's probably done it all through the photo session. They've heard it a lot through the planning stages. But anyway, what's your take on this? Could you go all night at a wedding reception without using the words bride or groom? Do you say it? Do you use their names? How do you do it? Let us know in the comments section. And tomorrow night, I'm going to get all my gear videos. i got a bunch of new gear. We're going to show you some new stuff. Expect a flood early this week. Practice and enjoy.